throw, 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 throw it up. Start twerking like Molly. Oh yeah, twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, with another Clash of Clans video. This is your boy Blitz24 for sure, and in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different, okay? Um, usually, I have more of a planned out schedule if you want to say and talking about what I want to talk about but this this time we're gonna fr freestyle a little bit okay we're gonna make it a little bit more natural I have not been on Clash of Clans in a while due to I'll be honest with you Pokemon Go who knew right so ever since I was like 10 years old I want to be a Pokemon master so this is the first opportunity that I can actually catch Pokemon in the real world and it's more interactive I am an outdoors type of person I like to be outdoors but at the same time, I like video games. I know that doesn't kind of mesh well because of, you know, most people that play like video games are like introvert and they just like to be in the house or whatever. I'm like the total opposite. I like to be around people. Um, I like to interact. I like to laugh. I like to go places and just on the whim too. I'm not a planner. I'm just like a get up and go guy, um, depending on the circum special circumstances or whatever. So I have not been on Clash of Clans. I have neglected it greatly and I know my clan members are upset with me we even had a few clan members leave right now rage is not looking very well guys we are we don't have a war win streak we are at 28 members and we our last couple wars we have lost as you can see there's a lot of red on the board I do not like that but it happens I guess I think it's really a direct link to me not being as active as I was in the past now I don't know why that is but that's just the way it is I mean I'm pretty sure Clash Royale is just like off the charts right now I haven't even logged in to Clash Royale at all Clash of Clans I do log on to here and there but not as much as I do you know Pokemon Go or whatever but Clash Royale psh, I haven't even touched it man it's probably been it's probably been a month since I looked at it, so I'm gonna make it my personal business to do a video on Clash Royale to see what's new <laughs> on Clash Royale. And we're gonna talk about that kind of stuff for those of, of you guys that are still interested and in fans of Clash Royale. I haven't neglected you greatly as well. So, speaking of new updates and such, that is the first business that I would like to cover here. Let's go into the news and let's see what is new. Now, I believe in my previous video, we did cover that Giants were at a new level. If not, here we are now. So, back in July, Giants had um, got an um, a upgrade to level 8, which we got that done. Giant, our Giants are done. Archer Towers are now level 14. And Town Hall, it says Town Hall 11 gets a boost in this. Those are the two things that happened at Town Hall 11. And then we had in August, we had some game balancing going on. Um, cannon damage increased from uh, for uh, levels four, 11 through 14. So we got a damage increase for cannons from level 11 to 14. Uh, healers now again trigger air traps. Um, if you guys don't remember, if you rewind back some time ago, uh, healers actually set off air mines or whatever and they were like killed like almost instantly well that was removed for whatever reason I guess people complained and said healers really didn't have a chance it was a lot of stuff that they had to deal with and as soon as that was removed people just started doing queen walks all day long all day long and so some of these bases would get almost completely annihilated 50% annihilated by just the queen alone with some healers behind her and then we all are familiar with the bowler walk where the healers are behind the bowlers and they're just constantly keeping those bowlers healed and as long as you get those inferno towers out of the way that's pretty much your biggest threat because I mean the air defense is about about time they get in range the, the healers get in range with the air defense the bowlers would have already taken those air defenses out so that again I guess maybe developers or gamers got frustrated with it and now the developers has changed it once again to where healers can be targeted by air traps. Minor uh, minor movement speed is reduced. Now, this one I don't technically agree with. 
I think you should have a speedy character if his attack is not high. And that is obviously the case with the Miner. They have very high defense. They are they travel pretty fast, but their attack power is not that great. So to reduce their speed, I guess, I don't know, they seen where the balance was necessary, but in my opinion, I don't think it was. Miners already are not even the go-to troop. I have used them. I have used the mass miner thing for those donut bases or those ring bases, if you want to call it. They are pretty effective. It will get you a two-star. If you're lucky, you'll get three-star, but that's just the way it kind of works. It says attackers can deploy more their army before the ego artillery is activated. So pretty much for those for those of you that are familiar, the way the ego artillery works, it, it works off housing units. So say for instance you <clears throat> you drop a golem. Uh, initially the ego artillery may not go off, but if you drop two golems, it is activated and it starts shooting repeatedly until it is destroyed so um, I guess they feel like I don't know increasing the housing space before the ego artillery is activated will give people a better chance at three star maybe town hall 11s which I mean town hall 11s are three star as it is, it's not a great secret. With this bowler walk, it's not very hard. I've done it multiple times. And maybe that's why some of this balancing has came into play. Before we go into attack mode, I want to go back. Just give you guys a quick update. This is my... Uh, no, that's not it. Here's my profile. I have not been in Legends League for probably like almost a month. It's not longer than that. I just really honestly I got tired of being in the clouds I got tired of waiting I may push back up the Legends League and breathe some life back into rage because it seems like if I'm not pushing or doing my hardest then nobody else is and that's just what it is and that's the way they roll but we will get back on track guys I will start paying Clash of Clans a lot more attention um, as I have kind of reached the pinnacle I'm very close to uh, reaching the pinnacle of Pokemon Go because I'm just a Pokemon master like that and I just took the game and I took off with it. So before we close out this video guys, I want to share maybe a couple of replays with you. And this is going to be embarrassing. Let's look at my defensive log and the latest attack here. Okay, so we got the miners. So the, the mass miners, you have 48 miners. He has a max, uh, max heroes. Four heal, four heal spells, one rage spell, two poison spells, and it looks like he just carries some random bow, uh, bowlers in his clan castle, which just goes to show that some of these attacks are a little bit overpowered. Let's look and see what he did. Again, this is an attack on my base. I have not changed my layout for a while. My layout has been this way for quite some time. So it looks like initially he's going to start off with the miners. They're going to come in and start taking out these outer structures. And now, this is interesting. I guess he's going to use the giant and the bowlers as meat shields for the queen. And he's going to start attacking this corner here. I guess his plan is kind of just to wipe out this entire side. Because his king has also been dropped down here. If you want to say on the northeast corner. To target that queen. I'm guessing that is the goal. And the goal here is to take out the king and maybe activate the clan castle. Let's see what happens. Ego Artillery has already been activated. It hasn't seemed like, well, I guess that's a lot of troops already. Yeah, he's already expended all his all his miners. So, yeah, Ego Artillery is activated. King and queen are on alert. And the clan castle has yet to be activated. Let's see what happens. So, they are just tearing up this first line or first wave of defenses and structures. These miners are moving, I guess, at a decent pace. There's a lot going on, guys, to really zoom in and show you exactly what's happening everywhere. It's just pretty much chaos everywhere. Let's see how he deals with this Infernal Tower. I guess he's just going to allow the miners... Okay, so when the miners are on the ground, the Infernal Tower does not target the miners. So I guess it's not really necessary to carry a free spell. He has the queen behind the miners. She's taking out the outer structures as they continue to move down. 
He has a warden kind of behind those miners to help buff that HP to keep those guys alive a little bit longer. They're doing pretty well over there. Let's see what's going on over here. We still have the Barbarian King alive with a lot of mini Barbarians. They are taking down these new leveled up Archer Towers. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> the, the defense was buffed, but it doesn't seem like it's enough for the offense. I think the offense is a lot more powerful at Town Hall 11 than the defense. Even though they gave the cannons a buff and they also gave the Archer Towers another level up. It just seems like there's no stopping these mass bowlers and these mass minor attacks. And I think in the future here that people are going to start using more of these minor attacks. Why? Because now the air bombs target the healers, which can cause, I mean, it can cause a raid to go really, really bad if your healers go down and they, the, the bowlers have nothing to keep their HP sustained. So as you can see, these miners can just pass right under the wall. It doesn't take them any type of effort to get through the wall. They're straight on the town hall. Town hall goes down, and that gives this guy an 100% uh, raid. And good job on him. 16 trophies from him. He was in Legends League. I'm pretty sure he felt good about himself. And we're going to go ahead and cut that video here, guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to discuss it in the comment section below. Drop your opinion. Let me know what you think. Where do you think the future of Clash of Clans is going? Are you guys still motivated and interested? For those guys that have been playing for two years plus, you know, up there with me, I'm going on probably a three-year, I'm a three-year veteran with Clash of Clans, been playing a long time. And, you know, just share your thoughts, what will make the game more interesting for you? I think if they cut down, they already cut down significantly on the wait times, but if they can do something about the clouds where I can almost instantly find a battle I think that would be great for me because I'm, I'm a little impatient when it comes to those things I mean when I see that white screen I get sleepy and I go to sleep immediately and then next thing you know I'm in a raid and I probably dropped an archer and then next thing you know I'm losing so <laughs> that has happened to me more than once but I would like to see something like that where you know they actually take the time out to I don't know maybe open up their servers a little bit more and speed up that process maybe they can cut down shield times I don't know I don't know we'll see I don't know what is being talked about in the Clash of Clans forums but it's definitely being talked about and if you guys know drop it in the comment section below and we'll talk about it in the next video but for now we're gonna go ahead and leave that here we're gonna go ahead and sign off guys and I'll see you guys in the next Clash of Clans video more than likely it will be a Clash Royale video because I have neglected that game entirely I have not logged on in over a month so we're gonna fix that and give you know for you clash royal fans out there i want to give you guys what you want and what you need and i will see you guys in the next clash of clans video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and most importantly share with your friends guys with your neighbors your dog whomever um yeah it really the support really helps it's really uh helps what i'm doing here these videos are not easy to make so the motivation, keep the motivation high, keep the support high, guys, and let's keep traveling along this road, and I will see you guys in the next Clash of Clans video.